Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 62 of my Let's Play of None Other Than Pillars of Eternity. And we're having a nice chat with this this woman. Mother, even. I mean, what happened to you, uh, my father? Brittle smart Before smacks. you were born, the Glan Fathers attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. Oh, that's, right, that's, that's right. why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry. And so they came into our villages and killed wow. many people. Well, rubbish. Your father was one of them. Pod slips out of the grass and she jabs the side of her finger with a jagged thumbnail. She says nothing as the skin slowly turns from white to red. He was one of the people in Canada Kill. He was one of the people that were. That's what I said. Voice is low and hoarse and her. And is frozen over the basket. Something dark and empty clouds over her eyes. She drops a basket. And That's why you'll be a soldier one day. I'm out of her face to protect her and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? A trickle of blood on her finger. I'll finish up here. Well, okay. I think that's the way we're supposed to be going. But just said deep. That is going down. These are going up and sideways. Let's have a look at these for a moment before we go down deep into it. What she's posted. Oh, ah. You need to move. Don't just fall. That works too. Spiders have taken up residence in empty shelves. Oh, this is like a lie, bro. Ready when you are. Anything in here worth grasping? Just for the XP fighting them, man. This map shows the Draywood's old uh, col colony border, a settlement called New Durin is marked in the place of present day Defiance Bay. Okay. So we'll have a look, look up quick and then we'll head down where we're supposed to be going. Change the radar with rust. Probably this is like a one off room, too. Feels if uh, cobwebs are the only thing holding this rookie mess together. Something has made a nest out of old straws and mattress. Ticking. Oh, okay, let's see this. I'm thinking this is, we're gonna restore this and be ours, I'm thinking. Because why have these off rooms for no reason? Other than for realism, but I'm kind of feeling this is what's gonna be. Maybe he stays in caretakes with her and builds it for us, might have enough money or something. Road damage to order knows damage reductions. Silver chest slugs gleam inside the barrels. You'd be good to use your little heal thing for everyone, just saying. Lava, be on Lava, be on I think we got this, but... Ah! Let's be safe. Not a problem. We missed one. You're mine! That will crush. Lava! We missed a few. Caramba! You're mine! This is faster! Death to our enemies! Death to our. You this, is not, um, this is quite easy to kill, but still. Order, Lieutenant. New orders, Lieutenant. 
Ready your squad. Yeah, we'll check with you in a minute. We're just going to check these little areas. This is obviously a dungeon. Anything? No. Okay. Anything in here? And sorry if you can hear a dog bark in the background. That dog's going off again. Okay. Commander. Spectral man arranged in armour and an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see strain, straight through it to the, well, that, the Deuce Cull and Arden signatures on his breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking up at you. When he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a, cha oh, There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. What pitch? His voice uh, falters and he shakes his head. Uh, the hand holding the paper drops to his side. Tell me about the orders. The instructions come from Admet Hadrid himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. He rolls the orders into a We're to burn scroll. those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. Ghostly sign forms a mist in front of his lips, and I'm going to end, uh, end it for a minute. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit out, but basically, well, as I said, I'm going to end it for a minute. It was just a pause why that dog was going off to stop. And the minute I had to end it for a minute, he literally, the last bark when I said that. I was like, seriously. So I'm waiting here for like a minute, and quiet as a mouse. So, unfortunately, it's all on the episode before that. <sighs> anyway, because obviously he was talking in this and that. I might be able to cut some of it out, because I wasn't talking during some of this, but I'll have to say. Anyway, well, well, we could throw me a bit. Uh, do I have a, a ghostly sight? Yeah, right back. Continue. It'll make this even shorter than the broken stone war, all right. Yeah, he tightens around his roll paper. He looks at you. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. Feel nothing when his hand I know this shoulders. is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war. Not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Hmm. Just say the word. Cart is rough with splinters. The cart. This cart. What cart? There's a bench. Cots where you know you put babies in it, that's a bench. Stir to affect the action speed of characters and the reflexive defense may also be used in conversation and scripted interactions. Okay. Guess it's that way. How big is this room? Hmm, not bad. We'll take those farmers by surprise. So did they use this to escape um, to attack the farmers I like that? Almost time. Die and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. An elven man turns to face you, his cheeks, his forearms, and the cartridge of his long pointed ears are smeared with indigo and blue paint. He grins wickedly beneath uh, the thatch of wild hair. What party? Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. What? The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. This is this sails through your sh uh, through your shoulder. Shows of pain of his face twists as he laughs. You may not like them, but they're still our elders. For now, a dead grey tooth peers from between his lips. That was clever. During the support of the community first, by the time you approached the, the Rio, they had no choice but to support yours. No doubt you would join their ranks one day. So long as no farmer's pitchfork foes you tonight, he laughs. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. The ghostly warrior gives you a long, covered look. Semi-transparent allies blies at the coral over you. The tribe needs more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. Oh, so it was a woman leading this. I wonder if it's the... The one who's basically put inside that st uh, seat upstairs. He reaches towards your cheek, but stops midway. His splendid fingers quivering as a tremor of doubt runs through him. You were right. 
Sounds just sad. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. That is. He's, by the sound of it, they, they went to this thingy and accidentally broke something. And then in, instead of, you, you say, oh, it's okay, we'll fix it. Or, you know, why you pay us back for it? You're coming to murder everyone. How are the invaders? You're the invaders. Just as hand is signed instead of drawing a notch blade from his belt. I can get in there. That's settled. Oh, what happened? Oh, there he is. Found him. There's no. Keep away from us. us. Leave us. Who else is in here? A large uh, liver spotted man barrel chested and pouchy, 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 whatever. I think it's supposed to be fat. Cowers in the far corner of the room. This white haired and tangled stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look at you in your direction. Maybe we should come back later. He looks up, up over his hand, the muscle around his eyes twitching and begins to whisper to himself. Sharp hisses as through having an argument. All at once he stops shaking, a sudden calm is falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly and he looks you dead in the eye like a cornered amino about to pounce his voice turns suddenly rasp and there's the dog again. And he stopped. Okay, stop barking. Seriously. Ugh. Mayor Wald isn't here. And he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit. He thinks we're ghosts. So, as I'm walking on here, talking to ghosts, we think I'm son, uh, the leader, the woman who did all this, etc. Et and now this guy thinks we're ghosts. Feels he has sent for no call has begun. Woman in Garda, value who took. He thought you could help me. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance. What? Or you'll have me to answer to. What? This guy's schizophrenic. Your man turns his body away and has another more sputtering argument facing the wall. Turns back towards you, he has taken a confident stance and his chest is puffed out like a soldier. A new strength enters his voice. Okay, I mean, this guy's schizophrenic. Or else he talks to spirits and somehow invited them all into his body and they're fighting for control. Or at least, hence why they're arguing. I guess. Come to speak to Mayerwald. Mayerwald, whose touch is poison. Mayerwald, who knows not his effect. Uh, you sound like the guy from Lord of the Rings. You know, my pledges! A little bit. Her posture folds and hands that he'd held strongly at his sides at a moment ago and resumed the original but tremors. His voice is feeble and tentative. He's told I am a watcher and that you could tell me more about it. About a, 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 a tablet of some worth after that, once you two are finished, of course. The window. Window to the ether where spirits dwell. Peer and reach into it. Speak. And listen through it. Okay, he nods still half distracted. I am the watcher. See souls, reads them, knows their pasts. Okay. Souls of the living, souls of the dead, in empath, and the souls see them back. This boy is used it to help beings in both realms. Did I? What the gods wanted of me, thought I. Okay, so what's that basically? Window, window to the uh, ether. Spirits well, peer and reach into it. Speak and listen. Okay, he's talking theoretically, isn't he? I thought he was talking about the mirror somewhere. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. Quick spasm on the show to strength, and his voice becomes strong. What? It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. He tilts his head forward, glowing at you, and his voice is raspy. Okay, you got that everyone trapped in you. Little I knew. He shrieks down and is himself once more. He cradles his face and shaking hands all I knew. I was accosted by spirits on my way here. What do they want? No. No. Forgive me. Forgive me. Remember. Staggers backwards, staring off at something. Imagine for fun, um, 
covers his mouth with his hand, his breast convulsion, his eyes red and exhausted. I've lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. In awakening. His eyes narrow as he looks at the old man. How could a simple awakening have driven you to this? I mean, you remember your past lives? Something reminds. Memories stirred. Memories before birth. Other bodies. Other oh, times. Okay. So he has a good spirit inside him. He's basically he's like been reincarnated, and these are his past lives. All coming to him. One of them was like a really nasty guy who came down. He wanted this, another was a soldier, and this is this version. Memory, personality, identity, any might resurface. Or all. Or all. all. I seem to have been having conversations with several of them right now. Ghosts of the no, mind. Mayowald has lost control. Mayowald's body no Pass more. Father. Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Mayowald. Reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them. Form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Mayowald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not a memory from previous lives. Troubled oh, memories, angry back. memories, pulling Mayowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? So basically, he's a, so one of his personalities from his past life is a soldier. The other personality is a marauder, what's basically going around attacking, killing people. Or so some defend. His past lives still trouble you. How do you tell spirit from a memory? Seeing apparitions like those elsewhere since I became a watcher. Or are these actually inside of me? Think past memories are not really. My fault. All my fault. Soldier and Marauder, Soldier and Marauder and Mayowald. No forgiveness for what's past. No one doing what's What's that you, Baggy? I am no lost. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. War of tree. Oh, of course, the broken stone war and the war of black trees. This was in the early period of Arundin colonization, fighting between the Draywood colonists and the native, whatever you see. But that was a long time ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We the nine claws, claws of nine. Worse, what we did to the women, for love of the gods, the gods' love. For their love. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of raiding a village. Folks speak on Strasby, and he's somewhere else in the place and time, speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this Addy a wow. bitch an air that belongs an air, Gladfath. <laughs> I'm watching something you can't hear. Shaking his head over and over. Be well. <laughs> So was marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His child has broken him, but better that than to live in weakness. And with that, we'll end this episode. So, like, subscribe, good stuff, and tune in next week when we'll continue our little conversation with Moa. So, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now, and subscribe and hit the little bell. Bell. Bye. Bell. Bye. Bye, even. I don't know what I'm saying now. Bye. <laughs> Bye.